NAV calculation. So, what is NAV? NAV, as you know, is net asset value or the current market price of a unit. And what is the formula for NAV? The formula for NAV is market value of investments plus assets minus liabilities divided by number of units with the investors or number of outstanding units. And here assets are nothing but it can be dividends or it can be interest income and liabilities are expenses payable. Let us see or let us explore the concept of NAV with two examples. We will see one by one. See here, this is the case available to us right now. Value of stocks rupees 230 crore, value of money market instruments rupees 5 crore, dividend accrued but not received rupees 2.39 crore, purchase of shares rupees 7.5 crore, sale of shares rupees 2.34 crore, fees payable 0.41 crore, number of outstanding units 2.65 crore. So, let us divide the formula into types different uh, segments. So, let us start with market value of investments. See here market value of investments consists of value of stocks and value of money market instruments. It is nothing but 230 crore plus 5 crore which stands at 235 crore. So, that is the first part of the formula and see the second part of the formula assets or receivables dividend accrued but not received that is 2.39 crore sale of shares 2.34 crore sale of shares because once we sell a particular share we are bound to receive the amount for that so we bring that also as a receivable so we have two components here dividend accrued but not received that is rupees 2.39 crore and then we have sale of shares that is 2.34 crore. So, we have to add these two and the total value is 4.73 crore. So, this is the liable this is the asset or receivable portion. The next one is expenses or payables or liabilities. See here purchase of shares 7.5 crore. If we buy a share we should give amount for that. So, that becomes payable. So, purchase of share 7.5 crore fees payable 0.41 crore. So, the total liability would be 7.91 crore. Now, let us put all these together in our formula. And again, see the formula here market value of investments plus assets or receivables minus liabilities or payables divided by number of units with the investors. And we know the market value of investments as 235 crore, the assets as 4.73 crore, the liabilities as 7.91 crore and the number of units we know as 2.65 crore. Now, if we apply everything in the formula, the answer would be 87.48. This is the NAV. This is net asset value or current market price for the given case study. This is how you will receive problems in exam. We will see one more problem which is quite different from this in the next slide.